right. Psyduck, jump in. Psyduck. Psyduck. <laughs> ah! One second. I think there's too much water in the tank. I should check the water level. It says it's up to 94,863 gallons. That's not right. The tank only fits 1,000 gallons of water. But there's a little dot in the middle. I wonder what that dot is for. Hmm. Science, science. Ah! All I know is I better figure this out fast. The tank is close to overflowing. I'm sorry, guys. There's just too much water in the tank for everyone to go swimming. What am I going to do? I have to get the water level down before we turn the whole gym into a swimming pool. I know. Let's use my Poke Pilot and get Ada to help us. She'll at least be able to tell me what all these levels mean. Leave it to me. Hey, Ada. Got a minute? Hi, Misty. What's up? I need some help here at the Cerulean City Gym. The water level of our indoor pool tank is too high. I want to fix it, but I'm having a hard time reading the levels. The measuring stick says 94863, but it's written in a way that has a period in the middle of the number. Oh, I see what you mean now. That dot is called a decimal point. That's a way to break up whole numbers to make precise measurements down to the smallest fraction. Those numbers to the right of the dot tell the parts of a whole, and it's called a decimal. A decimal is a number that is between two consecutive whole numbers. Like a slice of pizza is part of a whole pizza. That's exactly what it's like. It tells the fraction with a dot. So that dot means it's between two numbers. But which ones? The ones it's between. You can tell the value of a decimal by its decimal point. It divides the whole number part from the decimal part. Here, let me show. Just as each place to the left increases by 10, each place to the right of the decimal point is also a multiple of 10. So the first number to the right of the decimal point represents a tenth of one whole. Then the next place over to the right is one hundredth of one whole. And then the next is one thousandth of one whole, and then... Whoa, whoa, whoa! One at a time! Sorry, I could go on forever, just like a decimal. All you have to remember is that the first place to the right of a decimal is one-tenth, and every place to the right of that, just add a zero to the number, just like you do as you go to the left. One, ten, one hundred, etc. So after the decimal point, it goes one-tenth. Then for the next place to the right, you add a zero to one-tenth, making it one hundredth. You got it! It all sounds so close, it's confusing. There are two ten and hundred spots? That's what that decimal point is for, though. Your friendly dot is telling you everything before the decimal point means it's a whole. After the point, it's a fraction of a whole. In the aquarium, you're working with the level in gallons. That means one gallon is a whole. But there's more after the decimal point. So what does that mean for the tank? Let's start by looking at decimals broken into tenths and hundredths. After all, your water level is 948.63. So it's carried to what place? Oh, so that's what the six and the three means. It's carried to the hundredths. It's 63 hundredths. That's right. Let's take a look at the decimal you're working with, 948.63. On the hundreds grid, the place value chart, and the water measuring stick. Starting with the hundreds grids, each hundreds grid represents one whole. In the number 948.63, we would have a lot of grids. 948 holes, right? So let's just look at how we would fill that in the last grid of 100 for the part of the whole. There are six tenths for the six in the tenths place. Then, there are three hundredths for the three in the hundredths place. The place value chart comes next. Again, 948 holes. So we have a 9 for 900 in the hundreds column, a 4 for 40 in the tens column, and an 8 in the ones spot. Now we're at the decimal point. This means the 6 goes in the tenths place, and then the 3 goes in the hundredths place. And, with the measuring stick, as you can see, 
948.63 is between the whole numbers 948 and 949. In fact, it's between 948.6 and 948.7 on the tank's measuring stick. Yeah, but it gives an exact measurement of what the level is. After all, that is why we use a measuring stick to check. This one measures to the hundredths place. Right on! That's pretty small. One out of a hundred parts of one whole. That's like a crumb of a cookie. You're really getting it. Now, let's count three hundredths from point six then. One, one two, two, three. Okay, I think I get it now. Great! So then using what you've learned so far, can you tell me, is 0 0.01 greater than or less than 0 0.1? Well, if 0 0.01 equals one hundredth and 0 0.1 equals one tenth, I know that one tenth of a whole is greater than one hundredth of a whole. So 0 0.1 is greater than 0 0.01. Misty, you are great at decimals. Tell me. How would you write 142 and 12 hundredths in the table? Type the right number in each box, then click check. All right! How would you write that, 142 and 12 hundredths as a fraction? Way to go! Now click on enough boxes to represent 12 hundredths, then hit the check button. You got it! Okay, now tell me, how would you write 35 and 7 tenths in the table? Type the right number in each box, then click check. All right! How would you write 35 and 7 tenths as a fraction? Way to go! Now click on enough boxes to represent 7 tenths. Then hit the check button. You got it! You're good! You've got great decimal skills! Yeah! I think I'm ready to adjust the water level of the tank! You can make adjustments to this tank. Move the sliders at the bottom and side of the screen to change the water level. If you move the level of the water down 0 0.2 gallons from where it is now, where will it be? Slide the level, then click Done. Right. Moving the slider down 2 tenths will lower the water level to 948.43. If you lower the water level by 0 0.01 gallons, what level would the tank be? Slide the level, then click Done. Right! 0 0.01 gallons is one hundredth. Not much of a change. Okay, let's lower the water level by 0 0.95 gallons. What fraction have we just moved the water level? Right! 0 0.95 is the same as 95 hundredths, or you could reduce the fraction to 19 twentieths. Are you ready for a bigger challenge? Okay, I have some work to do around the aquarium, adjusting the water levels to make them just right. But to get it done, I have to figure out some decimal dilemmas. Are you ready? Let's get a bucket to help us. One has 0 0.5 liters of water in it, and the other 0 0.05 liters. Which bucket has more water in it? Great! Now, how would we write that as a fraction? Great! Okay, how much more water do I need to add to this bucket to fill it to the top? Excellent! Now note how much is left in the liter bucket. How would we write that as both a decimal and a fraction? We'll need to reduce the fraction. Awesome! 
Look at this chart for the water level on tank 2. How would we write it as a fraction? Awesome! Okay, I have 0 0.25 liters left in my bucket. These three tanks hold 55 liters each. Which of the tanks can I add it to so that the tank doesn't overflow? Great! Okay, I just added the water to tank 2. How would we write the water level as both a decimal and a fraction? Great! Yeah! We did it! Now there's room for all the Pokémon to go swimming! Alright! Why don't we practice for our next underwater performance? I want to get in too! I just need to get my bathing suit. Guess we'll have to take the water down to make room for me, too. Shy. I think I can handle it from here, though. See ya! The decimal point is like a pause that divides the number, while end is a word that divides a sentence. The decimal point is like a pause that divides the number, while end is a word that divides a sentence. Try again. Twelve hundredths is twelve out of one hundred parts. Twelve hundredths is twelve out of one hundred parts. Try again. Twelve one hundredths is twelve parts out of one hundred. Twelve hundredths is twelve parts out of one hundred. Try again. Not every number is big, so some of the spaces can be zero. Not every number is big, so some of the spaces can be zero. Check the number and try again. Seven tenths is seven out of ten parts. Seven tenths is seven out of ten parts. Try again. Seven tenths is seven parts out of ten. Seven tenths is seven parts out of ten. Try again. Keep in mind zero point two is the same as two tenths. Try again. Zero point zero one or one hundredth is much smaller than one tenth. Try again. Try again.